Hey everyone, it's Melanie. I had the great opportunity to talk to Jesse Moss, the director of the film The Overnighters. Jesse's film The Overnighters has not only received great reviews from Variety, Hollywood Reporter, Filmmaker Magazine, and IndieWire, but it has also won the Special Jury Prize for Intuitive Filmmaking at this year's 2014 Sundance Film Festival. Check out my interview with Jesse here. Isla Berkeley was amazing, and I feel like, you know, as as a filmmaker, as a documentary filmmaker, like I really, I do it because I like to engage the world, and I like to go out there and experience, um, you know, uh, life and and um, uh, and society and and kind of the issues of our time and and um, as they're lived um, out there in the world, and um, I think what. Berkeley provided for me was a, a chance to begin to engage that outside world, but in, in you know in, in the environment of Berkeley, which I think so beautifully kind of balances kind of the insular academic intense you know environment, but also kind of lets in the real world and in, in, in really in ways that I think maybe other big, you know universities don't or can't. You know, I guess I'd lived a kind of sheltered life, and when I got to Berkeley, my eyes opened, and um, I certainly didn't. Imagine I'd be a filmmaker, but I, but I had certainly was exposed to, to film in, in ways that I hadn't been at home uh, growing up, and um, and um, and the world of ideas. I, I didn't go to Cal intending to be a filmmaker. I, I was really interested in in American history, and um, I um, actually went into politics after Berkeley. I moved to Washington D.C. for three years and um, got really involved in democratic politics, but I was, um, I'd say creatively frustrated. And I mean, I loved the work I was doing, but I felt like it wasn't what I wanted to be doing in my life. And, um, I, um, I met a filmmaker who lived in New York who invited me to come work on her film. And I just impulsively quit my job in Washington and I moved to New York and, uh, took a job for like, I don't know, a hundred bucks a week, I think working on her film. And that was my education in filmmaking. Um, and um, I haven't looked back. That was 20 years ago. I think what Cal also gave me is a kind of rigor. Um, and, um, you know, it's an intense academic environment. And I feel like it allowed me to develop a certain skill set that I think I still, um, I bring, I'd like to bring to my documentary work. And whether that's, you know, involves research and writing or critical thinking, you know, those are skills that are, are tr translatable. And I wouldn't put too much emphasis on necessarily you know, film school or, or even studying film. I think that, you know, the, the, those experiences, I mean, for me in the humanities, um, are just as valuable uh, in my work now in, in filmmaking. But I think um, I would say the advice I would give is is go make films and don't wait for somebody to, to, to issue the invitation. I'd say what I did, pick up a camera, find a story, a person who compels you and, 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 and follow it and see where it takes you. And and the great thing about filmmaking is there's no, I think digital um, production um, means that um, the barriers to entry are very low. I mean, everybody has a camera, which, you know, you could say is a, you know, sometimes I think we live in an over photographed culture. But I think that, but what, what will continue to be at a premium is the ability to tell stories. You know, I think that's for me the lesson of the overnighters too, is just to, just to, to chase your, your passion. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel to hear more from Jesse and other Cal alumni and affiliate filmmakers. Go Bears!